My name is David Harmon Bell. The Harmon's my mother's maiden name. I was born on the farm just down the quarter of a mile down there, in the old house that was there, in the 18th of May 1921. My father was a soldier settler who came and took up a block after the 1418 scrap. Anyway, and I was one of those silly buggers that went to the second one. <laughs> so I flogged his foot around the world. And they'd say, why, why don't you walk, Belly? I said, not in your life. I did enough walk when I was in the army. So originally it was going to be German settlements, I hope, and it was going to be fruit blocks. Yep. But instead of turning it into fruit blocks for the, the Germans, yep. they put the soldiers that fought the Germans. That's yep. what they always used to tell us. The name of the place down there, oh, this will be interesting to you, Lalgas, L-A-A-L. G-A-R-T-H-S. And, 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 and Mum said to Dad when they took it, we called and Dad said, well, what a good name. You know what it means? Little fields. Yep. It's a North of England word and it's also a Welsh word. And that's what it means. And he said it fit in because the paddocks are down there were two, three acres. Yep. Right? And they, he sowed loose and those front paddocks there on the slopes, but the bloody rabbits got into it. And then they, he wire it, but that didn't stop them. Yep. And at night time they'd go, they start in the corner and they went round in a half moon. The next day, and they eventually had the whole paddock out. The rabbits, they were that bad. And my dad was milking a few cows and the lady in the station said to him, when you come over to get your billy of milk for Mrs. Bell of a night, will you bring over some milk for me and I'll buy it off you. And, he had a, and that's how we started the milk round in Stanhope. The depression came, they were getting two and six a pound butter fat. Next week, one and six with a check, and the following week was sixpence. And that's when the people started to walk off the places. They'd had it. <laughs> Definitely had it. We used to go without. We used to kill our own meat. Mum would do all our own bacon, fruit, everything was all of us done. She wasn't buying. It's the stuff we had she made. But these other people didn't. And they, well, they couldn't afford it, and that was all too. And you're only milking about 15 cows, and you had a big herd. 50 acres was too small. But it had been all right for fruit block, yes. Yeah, it had been all right. Yeah. 